You know, I play a lot of, like, shooters and stuff, but today I'm going to play a game that does require, like, a certain level of intelligence. You know, you, you need to have a certain IQ to be able to play Stellaris. Uh, it's, it's like Rick and Morty. So this is the race that I play as in this game. It was the first race I ever made in the game, and I've kind of played as it ever since. I really like the way that it plays, because I like the uh, scientific victories or economic victories rather than, like, uh, building up a huge army and going going to war with everyone. I really do pref- I mean, at this point, this is almost just an exercise to see what YouTube will let me get away with. Uh, um, so don't tell- don't tell Sane about this. He might get a little bit pissed off if he found out I was putting this on YouTube, so you know. So I'm gonna recruit an admiral here to command all of the, like, three warships that I have. Wait. What? Okay, well, yeah, now I have to. It's fate. It's fate. It's fate. It's fate. Well, there's my first sacrifice to science. Pour one out for them. Get a couple ready for later, because uh, these scientists, they know what they're signing up for. Alien Awareness Association. Yeah, I mean, sounds good, but uh, one, uh, one question. What aliens? What aliens are we, are we being aware of? Y we haven't found any yet. You kind of jumped the gun there, Labia Mouth Jones. Oh, hold on, though. I did just find some aliens. Who could they be? Who could they System be? Oh. Okay. These, uh, these guys walked in on two space whales having sex. Jokes write themselves, ladies and gentlemen. <sighs> yeah, okay. Alright, yeah, fight them. You fight them with your no guns. And they're dead. There they go. Well, that was fun. An alien empire has established communications. Ooh! Well. They seem nice. Alright, this is the second time that this has happened, um, th it's the same ship! It's the exact same ship that did it last time, too! Uh, oh my god. Okay, once is funny, but twice is fate. This, uh, this ship is getting a new name. And the captain gets one, too, because... I mean, let's be honest, the reason they found those two was because this guy was actively looking for it. I, I can't think of any other reason. Bunch of traps, scientists died horribly, uh, yeah, you know, send in another team. They'll be fine. Well, I'm glad this worked out the way I wanted it to. Uh, problem though, I'm in between these two. Directly in between these two. I'm the demilitarized zone for the meme war. Oh? Well, there she is. It's her. Well, looks like we finally got to the mid-late game. You know what that means. That means it's time for some land grabbing. Hi, I'm Jeremy Land Grab, and I'm gonna teach you all about land grabbing. See, it all starts with one little colony ship just going on to the right place. And once it gets there, boom. Upgraded. You got a colony there, friend. It's gonna grow up to be a big bunch of land it's just gonna be all yours hey um excuse me that was a that was the land i was grabbing uh the, the space elf complete. assholes just grab land right next to mine god damn it we're not even 50 years in this is the fastest i've ever seen a race die like what happened here how did these guys lose all their planet hatsune miku what did she do to make them give oh Hey guys, welcome to episode 289,563 of my Stellaris Let's Play. Uh, today, I'm gonna be killing some more scientists. Okay, so let's see, um, let's see, computer chip or, um, computer chip with a gun? Yeah! Alright, gotta give it to these space elf assholes, they outgrab me, but you know, there are opportunities elsewhere. Like, like the entire, all of this. It, it, it's completely untouched. I'm gonna grab the heck out of this! And here it is, the first little seed that germinates a generation of land grabbing. It's a little miracle. Now we got ourselves a pretty fine, good looking grab of land here, but uh, there is always, always, always more to be grabbed. Okay, this time in my defense, a scientist did not die. He just went insane because he took a wormhole directly to hell, like an Event Horizon or Warhammer 40k, you know? He's still alive and he's gonna be more or less okay. Well, would you look at that? It looks like the Death Tomb was built by Space Dwarves. 
It's crazy. All this time, I thought that Matt Ward had decanonized them. You know, it took a lot to get us here. It took a lot of hard work and a lot of elbow grease. And now, finally, we can take a look at all this land grabbed. It's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. <laughs> <laughs>